an abortion provider and someone who's had an abortion. The SB8 law that went into effect in Texas earlier this month and is, attack, is an attack on uh, working class. We already know that the wealthy will be able to afford to travel out of state to access safe um, abortion services. But abortion, abortion is a non-negotiable essential health care service that needs to be accessible to anyone who needs one, including trans folks, immigrants, and working class folks. Um, as a kid, growing up in the border city of El Paso, Texas, I remember the prevalent anti-choice um, Catholic conservative messages regarding abortion, but the hypocritical silence around the misogynistic femicides that were happening in Juarez, Mexico, which is right next to El Paso. Many of them were working class women who worked for maquiladores or the factories that were owned by U.S. corporations. As someone who has been involved in abortion work for over eight years, I've seen the barriers that working class folks have had to overcome to access safe abortion services. Whether it's someone who's trying to escape an abusive relationship, someone who's trying to put food on the table for their children, um, abortion saves lives. I think of all the undocumented immigrants who live in border cities like El Paso, and now they have to pass through um, checkpoints, border patrol checkpoints, just to obtain abortions in other states. Um, just an additional barrier that, you know, people have now. Um, conservative capitalist politicians love to play in the title of pro-life, but I have seen again and again how abortion um, saves lives. Um, the, Supreme Court, the Supreme Court and other politicians shouldn't be regulating the reproductive lives of the working class. Um, it's healthcare workers like myself, my co-workers, and the patients that we serve, many who are essential workers themselves, who should be making informed healthcare decisions for their bodies, for their families, not politicians. Um, thank you all so much for being here uh, to show your support, your solidarity. We need folks like you to move forward this movement um, and build uh, the you know <laughs> movement for reproductive justice uh, across the United States and across borders. Thank you all.